And then here's, he told you a story about his 52 Ford pickup. Driving it, drove, drove it down from Long Island. That was what he started his excavating business in. And then he had passed it around to several different uh, people to redo it. And they nobody ever would do anything. So he finally got tired of messing with the people and said, okay, I'm just going to do it myself. So he's just about got it finished now. And then here's a 68 Camaro that... Uh, that they are, we started, he started, they painted it here, and uh, he's got the motor. We'll go inside the garage there in a minute and show you the motor. That was gonna bring some money. Yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a neat car when that one's done. It's gonna put a 350 in it. And then this little Mustang here, it runs and drives. We're asking 7,000 for it right now before he does any more work. Does that stripe mean it's a, a rally sport or is it a... I believe that's correct. I'm not positive, but, uh, or maybe a Z28. I don't yeah, know exactly. Yeah, have the, the candy apple red with the stripes in it with a 68. I had a buddy that had one. He had a 68 rally sport and I had a Mustang GT. Pissed him off when I was beating <laughs> and this one is the one that uh, the 64 that was in the movie uh, Ghost of Goodnight Lane which should be coming out it was a horror movie that they uh, shot here in Dallas uh, a year or so ago in the summer man it was hot those actors were in this car sweating in August driving up and down Harry Hines and every Every so often they'd get them out and just wipe them down with cold rags, you know, trying to keep them cool. But uh, this will be, a, I don't know exactly what the movie's going to be about, but this was Charles Manson's car, and he was driving around with his girls in it. And it had, uh, I think it was Lacey. Yeah, I better not say because I may get it wrong. The, uh, the actors that were in it, but uh, the Ghost of Goodnight Lane, and then this is this is a car, this '56 T-Bird. Ken went to buy his wife her, uh, I think it's a passport, and they, he saw this car under a tarp in the back, and he ended up buying this one as well. And they just recently had the uh, interior redone and this is uh he's asking twenty eight thousand for this t-bird how long did it take him to get it to that point i think he's been working on it about a year really yeah that's pretty quick on the website you can see where it was totally raw you know you can see through the headlight holes and you know there was hardly uh it was you know it was it was originally a turquoise and white and you can see parts of that on some of those pictures so i kind of took pictures from the beginning to the end so people can see that that was actually a, a frame off restoration Interesting. and then this mustang you were asking about it sean or are you talking about the sick the black one that you were wondering what kind of condition this is a 65 And he's got the engine and transmission there in the shop. But you open that up, it looks pretty decent on the inside. Oh, yeah, that's not bad to start the, with. The floors were not as bad as I thought they were. He said it came with four pans. But it looks like they're, uh, they may be, Sound pretty solid. they may be okay. What do you think? Sounds pretty solid. got it uh, in September of, of uh, no March of last year or this year 
uh, at the Good Guys Car Show here at the uh, racetrack. Yeah. He traded. No, he didn't. That was. He he, uh, he had a little '66, I believe, that he traded a guy for a truck, and then he bought this one. Oh no, twelve for this one. Twelve, for this yeah. One, one. Yeah, we've got uh, that blue one. I mean, white one with the blue stripes. That's uh, that was a GT three fifty clone. That one he had for thirty five. Yeah, and we'll see that one over at the other yards. Yeah, that old Ford. And then this one's the one he picked up recently, fifty seven Nomad. This will be a be a high dollar car when he gets it redone. Man, I wouldn't even know where to start. Just take them all apart. Start with the rust. Some I remember on that Camaro, it was a part when he got it, and uh, he brought one of the other Camaros over for his body man to use it as a template to make sure where everything went back together. So that was kind of interesting. Let's walk through here real quick. Let me shoot these and then we'll go over and look at the other yard. There's a, I think that's a 60, 61, 62 T-Bird, 1950 Ford four-door. I think that's a 64 Olds Dynamic 88, it says. 67 Chevelle. Here's a 39 Chevy two door sedan. This is a 36 Plymouth four door. This is a 1950 Chevy 3600, five window, three quarter ton. It's a 55 Buick two door hard top. Century. 54 Buick two door post. This here is a, uh, I believe this is a 50, 53. Here's the details on it. 53, four door. All of these are complete with engine. Here's a 50 Royal, Royale. That's a Chrysler Royale. This is a 1956 two-door wagon. This one runs and drives. I believe this is a 1960 Chrysler Newport or New Yorker. Let's see what it says here. Yeah, New Yorker. This one runs and drives. This is a 1960 El Camino project. 